Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series on Introduction to Scilab Software. This is video part 8. In this video, we are going to learn declaring a matrix and the matrix operations. So see the first question, it is declare the following row matrices and perform the given algebraic operation. The given matrix is actually a row matrix in which there are just one row and three columns. And B is given that is also of order 1 by 3, 1 row and 3 column. So how we can declare a matrix U equal to, we are going to use square bracket 1, 2, 3. So this way we can write or we can give commas also V is equal to 3 minus 4 and 7. So this is done. If you want to do the operation u plus v, same thing. 2u means the scalar multiplication. 2 star u. So each entry of u will be multiplied by 2. And v minus 2u. So it is v minus 2 star u. So this is the answer which is again a row matrix. Now in the second question, we are asked to declare a column matrix and perform the algebraic operation which are given. Now for declaring a column matrix, as you can see, it is a column matrix of order 3 by 1. That means 3 rows and 1 columns. So W is equal to, for the first row is 1, the second row contains 2. So the rows are separated by semicolons. So this way W is a column matrix of order 3 by 1. Same way we are going to declare the X which is minus 2, 4 and 0. So let us put the semicolon here so the it won't be displayed. And the operations are w plus x and w minus x. Okay. Now in the third question, the matrix is given which is of order 2 by 3, 2 rows and 3 columns. So let us learn how we can declare this. A is equal to 4, 0, minus 3 is the first row. So let us write 4, 0 minus 3 then the second semicolon since we are writing the second row which is 1 8 9 so this way we can declare a matrix of order 2 by 3 the rows are separate rows are separated by semicolons so this is your matrix a now for matrix b which is 7 to 1 semicolon minus 6 5 10 so I am putting semicolon here so it won't be displayed and let us do the operation a plus b oh b is not defined it should be capital a plus b and a minus b so it's very easy and we get the answers quickly now in the fourth question, we are given a matrix of order 3 by 3. It's a square matrix. A is equal to. Now for pi, what do we use? Yes, correct. We use percent pi, then 0, then 3. Then for the second row, it is minus 1, 6, 1. And... For the third one, we rate 7, 2, 5. So this way the A matrix is declared. Now the first is A square minus 4A plus 5I. Now what is I here? I is the identity matrix. So what we can do, we can just take I. Now identity matrix, we don't need to declare the matrix of order 3 by 3, which is an identity matrix by putting 1, 0, 0, then next row is 0, 1, 0, and the last row is 0, 0, 1. 
we have a command which is e y e i three comma three or e y e just into bracket three will do so the identity matrix will be stored in i so this is the your identity matrix now you can do a square means a cap two minus four star a plus five star i so i we have already declared as the identity matrix just see the answer this is the answer or what you can do is you can directly use the i command in the question itself let me write my a matrix and if you want to find a cube plus 3 a square so what we can do a cube so it's a cap 3 plus 3 star a cap 2 minus 7 i so it is minus 7 star you can write the identity matrix command e y e 3 so it's identity matrix so for the 3 either you can write 3 by 3 3 comma 3 or you can write 3 so this way we can get the answer without declaring the identity matrix we have directly used the command in the question itself okay thank you we will continue in the next question set